Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by myself, Kitty, and uh, we're going to be looking at how to install IMD on uh, Linux Ubuntu. This has been requested as a repeat video since I did this a few years ago, and we need to uh, update it with the latest versions and stuff like that, so let's just go ahead and do that now. Um, this is Ubuntu 16.04.1, which is the latest edition. Uh, let me just log in here. So I'm just going to put this on to full screen so you can see. And now this is a virtual machine, so it's going to be behaving a lot slower than a normal uh, Windows, uh, sorry, a normal physical machine would do. Uh, bear with me a moment. So first of all, to uh, get started, we need to just go to search your computer. So just click on that and type in terminal. Okay, you see the terminal over there. So now just type in over here sudo su and that will elevate up the to the to the super user. Okay, and uh, what we need is to emulate Windows is wine. Um, so we're gonna just go and install wine now. So to do that, you need to type in app get install wine. Just press Y to take you to it. Now while that's installing, to get the latest version of Ubuntu, uh, you just need to go to ubuntu.com. So I'll just show you where to go to now, where to get the latest version of Ubuntu Desktop, the one that will actually work with uh, with IMD. So, yeah, you need to go to Ubuntu. Yeah, Ubuntu. Dot com. And select the version you want. You want to go to download at the top over here and then go to desktop. And you can just download the uh, regular version of the standard version over here. This should be the 64 bit. If you want to get something else, go for the alternative downloads, but just use uh, make sure that you're using standard Ubuntu desktop. just take you to this uh, download screen over here and you just go not now take me to the download when it starts I'm not going to download it now because I've already got it installed okay so it backs us back to the terminal over here it's asking us uh, to agree to the license agreement so yes so okay and then yes Okay, so next up, we need to go and download IMDU. So we can close off the terminal now. So we go to imdu.com. And we just go to the bottom of the page and we go to download. And we just go download now. Okay. 
Okay, so now we've got the, the IMVU installer downloaded. We just go and click on the folder button over here. And we're just going to right click this and get it to go to properties. And we're just going to go to permissions and allow execution file as program. Okay, that's very important. So just do that again. Like uh, you right click it, you go to properties go to permissions and then allow executing file as program. Okay, so we want to right click it again and open with Wine Windows Program Loader. <coughs> now Wine is just going to update its configuration. Okay, so now you'll see that IMU has started automatically here, and um, what we're going to do here is we're just going to log in. Okay, so inbox works, on view is loaded, I've switched into creating mode so we don't get disturbed. And if we go into settings here, this is quite important. And we go into advanced, and we switch this to standard graphics, okay. Now you can see it's pretty responsive even on a um, virtual machine. So you shouldn't have any problems on a, um, on, a, on a physical machine if you install it on your laptop or on your desktop. So let's just go and open up the chat room. So I'm just going to go just crack, just jump into the first one I see here. Just load in still. Ubuntu in. Okay, so things have started to load. I've taken a seat now, and it's a bit, a little bit jumpy while things are loading. But once it's cached the room, it's going to be a lot faster.
So that's pretty much how you do it these days. And so if we have a quick look at what I've written down here for you guys, I'm going to post this um, up on YouTube as well, which is just uh, open the terminal, elevate the super user, and then use the command sudo su to elevate the super user. Install wine, the command is apt-get install wine. Uh, download the latest ING client, right-click the ING installer, select properties, in the permissions, select allow, execute file as program, and then step six, uh, right-click the installer, and run with wine from Windows pro program loader. So uh, that should be it. Once it's all done like that, it should be running smoothly for you. I apologize for the slow machine that I'm running at the moment. As I said, it is a virtual machine. I had to make G since I didn't have a spare physical machine to use with video.